Hello and welcome to my channel and welcome to what was supposed to be the first video in this channel but if you know or if you don't know buying houses or buying a home regardless takes time especially if you have to make changes I did not feel right recording the contractors and everything that were changing the walls and the countertops and the doors so I thought that I will start recording now and doing what I call a DIY drafting house tour. Basically, I will be showing only some parts of the house that I will be working on that I will be fixing by myself. I have been mentioning in other of my shorts that I wanted to buy a house near the border and here we are. And we're gonna start with some of the projects I wanna do outside. Other than fixing the fence, I wanna put a whole new fence. I also want to put some, I don't even know what they're called, but I want to garden, but by the looks of the ground. I need to work on this ground. I don't think I'm gonna be able to plant on this. So, I want to put some risen beds probably on this area probably tell my editor to put some pictures of what I'm thinking of an idea then on that section over here after I change the fence I would like to put some worm bins um, but other than that I want to keep this big tree it's so pretty it's very exciting let's go back inside for now I will only be showing the back yard um, the front yard I will show more when I actually have the fence just for for safety reasons um, next up will be the kitchen I have not a lot of work anymore um, in another video I'll explain what was changed and everything from the kitchen but basically the whole kitchen is basically new um, what I would like to work on still because it wasn't my choice was that light like they say that they had to put a light i don't want it there i already have enough with these recess lightings um there are like light controlled so i don't have to have them super bright they could be dim another change that i would like to make is to this pantry <laughs> door i feel like when i saw it i was like oh i honestly I need glasses because I didn't notice this little design. I just saw a pantry and I was like, oh, that's good. And then I realized, oh no, it has that. I don't like that. So and one of my ideas is, and if you guys have any ideas of how I could remove it, because it looks like it's just like a film. Like it's just, I don't know, something plastered on top of it. But if it's not able to be removed, I'm probably just going to... I don't know maybe have some DIY projects of like I love drawing so maybe just cut for every season of the year I could make a cute little drawing for me and my son just to make it look cute make the kitchen look cute um, but other than that everything else was fixed before I came in um, everything is brand new the, they said that they changed the countertops. Right now, all I have to do, which will be the next video, so subscribe, um, is clean. There's, I have to clean all the, the dust. It's been a while since anyone's been here. Um, but I feel like other than that, I don't have to change anything else. I love the window, the cute little window. And now, we're going to go to the other room, which I will want to be changing, which is the downstairs bathroom. So let's, let's go. I just realized, and I apologize for the echo and also for the fire alarm. My husband right now is doing errands, so he will be bringing the batteries in a bit. But first, I'm going to show you the bathroom, as you can see already. <laughs> that is my half bath that I am really excited to be decorating for the season incoming. Let me turn on so you can see. Yeah, there's a lot of wall space. I was really surprised 
how big it was because when I see half baths, sometimes they're pretty tiny. My question is for this half bath that I have for y'all is, should I paint this white? Upstairs and the kitchen countertops, they're all white. So this one is the only one that stands out and I'm like, should I paint it white? Should I replace it? I feel like um, I don't want to waste it by replacing it. So I'm debating I should paint it white. I'm also, like I said, excited to decorate. So I'll be making a DIY sign of donut flush toilet paper. Everyone says that I'm pretty, I don't even want to say the word. So it's very, I'm very, I'm very passionate about not, not flushing toilet paper. If you didn't know, don't flush toilet paper down the toilet. Now let's go to the laundry room. It's a very small laundry room, but I have ideas for it as well. Let's turn on the light because it's dark in here. Most of the time I probably would just be using uh, window lighting but this room has no windows so here I'll be putting the washer and dryer unit is one big machine that I'm really excited to have for uh, my husband and I will be using the drying rack that I'll be putting right here and I'm debating if I should put something down there to collect water like with a bucket or just put like a little drain down there so that's gonna be my ideas for this small little laundry room the only thing I don't like is that this is here that's why i only want to have a one machine unit so let's see if it works out I'm really excited my husband's actually really excited for that little machine so now we're gonna go upstairs at the moment i don't think i have any changes to make to the living room or the dining room i am just going to go straight to the stairs because I feel like the camera is just not doing it justice, but I love it. This is not considered a room, but I feel like it's my favorite room because of the ceilings, all the windows. It's going to really brighten up my house. Right now I'm recording in the morning, so it's still not time for all the sunlight. But I'm debating if I should put like a little door because there's space under the stairs and it goes to this wall as well. So I don't know if I should put the door, a little door over here. There's an outlet over here, so probably not a good idea. But I do wanna put a little door. I wanna build a little shelf so we can put on all of our shoes here. I don't know which which one, which wall to use for what. Um, my husband's not really crazy about putting the door there. He just wants to put a shelf, but that's why I say that. So, that's how the downstairs look. I love the wooden stairs. Yes, it looks dirty. I'm about to clean it. But this is how it looks from here. So nice. These were added. They weren't there. The light fixtures. I don't know what to put there. But let's show you from the upstairs view how it looks like it's literally my favorite area it has a little areas i could put stuff here i was thinking i could put my desk here because it looks so nice but yeah my husband wants to put a little table so he could put his his um what's his important stuff like keys in his wallet but it's so nice i love it. little windows really brightens up the upstairs so now we're gonna move ahead to the bathroom the fire alarm is about to get annoying because we're right next to it so this is the next room as you could see these are the white counters i was talking about <laughs> that i want everything else to match in this side of the room restroom i don't have much to change I love this little, I never had a little place to put towels and stuff, so I'm really excited. I've, I have lived in a bunch of small uh, little places. And now that I'm purchasing homes, I could fix them. I love these little kind of details that come with older homes. 
it's really cute and there's nothing much to change there just maybe um, add some organizers that I could find second hand this though I wasn't like I love it it was handmade it kind of made me nervous because it looks really heavy for an upstairs bathroom but it's just so detailed I feel bad taking it off because I do want I don't know maybe add a tub I feel like nowadays not just new houses but remodeled houses don't have tubs anymore and my son loves tubs so I'm gonna measure maybe in the next video this little area just to see if it's possible to put a tub if not as well just for now my son loves uh, bubble baths so I'm gonna measure the inside so if I don't change this whole thing I at least will put like a little little I saw some containers that you could put in there so he could like still have a bubble bath but um, they grow out of it but I want I want him to still have that little nice memory next we're going to my what will be my office I'm not gonna show too much because there's so many windows in this office but it's pretty spacious I don't have much to add other than all my stuff um, from my store. I love that it comes with this big closet That will fit all of not only my store stuff, but also maybe some storage because my office is usually used for storage and I'm really excited to start recording some YouTube videos in here. It's so spacious for that. I thought I had seen a kitty over there. No. It left. But. Mm, I love you, notice. But my surveyor, I hadn't seen it from downstairs, but you could see it from down, from upstairs, that I'm allowed to extend my fence. So I mean, it's very exciting. My fence right now is right here, but I could put it all the way over there. So that would be really helpful for when I add all my stuff, when I want to plant and my husband wants somewhere to put his kayaks. That's another thing I didn't mention. It's really exciting. Now, let's go to the last room, which is Z's room, which me and my husband are really, really excited about. I'm actually um, kind of happy that he's excited to decorate it with me. We're Probably not gonna build a lot in here. We're basically just gonna do some creative drawing. My husband wants to make this whole room into a fort theme room. And I was like, Zen probably's a little too young for that, but he said maybe you could do it like Hot Wheels style um, in this wall. We want to put like a bookshelf. Um, if you see my shorts, Z loves um, books. The closet right here, same size as my office closet. Very spacious for him. I'll probably do a, a video of Organize With Me because I'm really excited. He, I'm going to finally be able to hang all his clothes because it's been, <laughs> I've just been putting them in a little bin. Because like I said, the other. Our little other place doesn't have uh, places to store stuff. So that is the end of this drafting, no, DIY drafting house tour. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.